Oh man, and just look at that perfect flag. Who needs that stupid bear anyways? When it comes down to a bear or two gardening tools, I'm gonna choose two gardening tools every time. Now today, we're gonna finally restore order to North America by taking over the entire continent with the greatest state of all time. So now that I just triggered everyone, um, I'm obviously just kidding. Please don't fucking crucify me in the comment section. So we're playing with my home state today, and obviously, in terms of ideology, I've gotta go communist. It's only natural for us. Oh, this is kind of perfect. This little little bug with all the mods I'm using, and uh, Papa here is our leader. Unfortunately, it won't stay that way, but we can always dream. But that's actually not a bad idea at all, and I definitely think I want to join the common turn at some point in this campaign. I didn't touch the rest of the world at all, so all the factions remain. Obviously, uh, Daddy Hitler is still here, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the world reacts as uh, all this shit goes down in North America. I didn't know this, but I guess all the US states start off with four technology slots? That's a little excessive, I think, especially for some of these uh, less intelligent places. We actually have a pretty good start here with 32 factories. Uh, obviously, a lot of other states don't have this much. Texas is obviously going to be our biggest rival though. I would love to invade them because I know the South would lose their mind if I do. I feel like we also have a shit ton of boats. That's not going to be useful at all actually. I mean it's nice and I'll take them but uh, I'm trying to go deeper into North America. I'm actually surprised one of our commanders isn't Arnold Schwarzenegger. That would make a lot of sense but I mean it is 1936. He's still being conceived somewhere around here isn't he? I haven't even pressed play yet and I don't know exactly what ideologies all these states are going to follow but I definitely think California could use a lot more prostitutes so uh, I I know where we're gonna go first we also don't have like any steel so that'll be helpful going after some of that all right here's the moment of truth we should see all these states slowly change ideologies and then I'll get to choose the very best of them I mean like the very best of the three ideologies and obviously that's communism especially if you're trying to lose weight because we're gonna have one of the best diet plans on the entire continent you know I haven't really thought about it but I guess Mexico could technically attack us Holy shit, that would be horrible. The last thing I want to do is get into a fight with Mexican drug cartels. We're trying to legalize their products anyways. Wow, I'm stupid. I didn't realize that when the US states aren't these colors, it means the mod's broken. Well, nonetheless, everything's fixed now. The day the earth stood still, the United States officially came to an end. Yada, 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 whatever. Okay, we must prepare for the worst. And here we go. It's commie time, baby. Oh man, and just look at that perfect flag. Yep, who needs that stupid bear anyways? When it comes down to a bear, or two gardening tools. I'm gonna choose two gardening tools every time. So it's the end of the first month, which means all the ideologies are set. So let's check out some of the neighbors. I think, uh, yeah, Nevada is communist. Oh, and so is Arizona. So we've got some fellow famine states next to us. Texas State Democratic, Florida is communist, and uh, so is New York. So we kind of have a lot of support here. You know, I think I might actually save the hookers from Nevada for a little bit later. We might as well start off by controlling more of the Pacific. Oh, wait, no, there's no resources up here. And we really, really need steel. All right, fuck that, back to Nevada. Do I even need to announce this anymore? All right, here we go. Let's go after some uh, gambling territory. All right, so there's a ton of wars taking place. Uh, I'm not really gonna show those off too much just yet until we kind of get our own shit handled. All right, that looks a lot better. And we've also probably quadrupled the number of population that impersonates Elvis. That's a shitty joke, but I just wanted to include it somehow. Our new two neighbors are both democratic, so we're gonna want to take them out, I think, soon before they form a faction. Also, we fixed our steel situation, so that's nice. Uh, and I totally missed out on the part where Mexico declared war on us. Oh, holy shit. I have no idea how this happens, but, uh, hopefully Guatemala will save us. Guatemala is our only hope. Really thought I'd never say a statement like that in my life. Well, it seems like we might have a little bit of luck pushing them back, so that's a positive, kind of. I guess I'll move into a war economy, even though that's kind of scary because uh, population-wise, we could start to struggle. It's only September, but uh, does Papa want to let us join? No, not yet. Papa, please accept me. Please don't be like everyone else in my life. In terms of the rest of the continent, things seem to be going pretty normally at this stage in the game. Just about a year into it and everything is all to shit. Once again, Pennsylvania looks pretty good, taking seven states from New York, and uh, Ontario got in on some of the fun. So I managed to push Mexico back out of my state, and I'm gonna try to grab Baja, California. I mean, this is supposed to be our shit anyways, right? Who's your empire took seven states? Holy shit, from who? Who's your enemy? Jeez, my jokes fucking suck today. You know, I was kind of shocked that this war was going well for me, but then I remembered the god empire of Guatemala is here. Well, I guess even if they're not doing much, at least they're distracting the Mexican army for me. Now, Texas and Methland are currently democratic, but I could get maybe Arizona to join my side. Communist Nicolas Cage would probably be down to join my faction. Fuck Mexico! 
Well, here are some borders you probably don't see every day. I guess Guatemala helped out a lot more than I was assuming at first. They kind of took a shit ton of stuff. Now I'm going to start trading with Papa because uh, I still need more steel. And there we go. It's time for California to assume its natural place. Wow, it is so beautiful. In terms of the rest of the US, uh, things are pretty interesting. No factions have been formed. I probably shouldn't even have joined the common turn, but I just want to do it for lols. All right, it's time to put the cherry on top by invading Texas. And uh, of course, we're going to get all of our allies help. Actually, I don't know if they're going to join, but I hope they do. The Socialist Republic of California has declared war on Texas. That's just a funny sentence to read. I don't know. Oh, now you're really screwed. Texas, you might as well just give up. May God have mercy on your soul. And here come the beautiful Soviet warriors across the Pacific. That's good because I was about to get my ass kicked, I think. I am incredibly lucky that no factions have been formed in North America just yet. As well as I'm glad I bitched out and Papa Stalin saved me. And I'm still trading with him. So he's really reaping the benefits of my three civilian factories. I wish I could have invited Arizona though. That's the only problem with not forming my own faction. Damn, this battle for New York is heating up. Holy shit. A lot of socialism around this region. It's mostly between Massachusetts and Ontario, I guess. Oh yeah, they're both just trying to destroy Pennsylvania. Hey Hitler, um, you gonna do anything in this video? Oh, he's probably just terrified of the Czech Entente. I'd be careful if I was you. Mao, come on, dude. You should probably join the party. There's a big ass, you know, common turn party in North America if you want to just, you know, send your troops over and not worry about Japan killing you. Oh shit. I was legit making a joke, guys. I didn't want you to take it seriously. Oh, factions are starting to form all around North America. I might have dodged a bullet though. And while the Soviet troops are still here helping me out against Texas, I'm gonna go ahead and attack Arizona. Sorry guys, I just don't think there's any other communist support in the West besides me. So it's unlikely anyone should join your faction. I really hope I don't eat those words. World tension is at 55%, which could lead to a problem for me. I guess democracies can now do stuff. Oh, Romania joined as well. So now Papa has to capitulate these guys. Arizona is actually turning out to be a little bit more difficult since it's kind of cornered off here. Oh shit, now Yugoslavia's joined this damn alliance. Hitler and Mussolini, I really could use your help. Holy shit, thank you. Oh, it's about time. I need to think about going after Guatemala here, even though I'm kind of terrified. I think they have some sort of secret power they're not telling us about. You know, I'm actually really shocked that no other state joined one of the European factions. They all just formed their own thing, I guess. I mean, they could have even joined the Chinese United Front. That was definitely something that was on my mind. I wouldn't mind joining Mao. Okay, so for some reason in the peace deal, I wasn't able to take Texas. I guess Stalin just thought, you know, fuck it, that's his. So you guys lucked out this time around, Texans. Your overlord will not be California, but it's arguably a little bit worse now. So that was really annoying, and in retaliation, I decided to puppet the rest of Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. And now Mussolini is attacking us. You damn bastard, I really wanted Texas for myself. Well, I guess France is gonna help us in our World War II, so uh, the common turn is pretty powerful. Regardless, I think we somewhat did what we needed to do today just take over a bunch of things with California. And in terms of the rest of the US, uh, this is what it looks like. And the faction map mode is a complete shit show, as expected. And I seriously doubt that Mussolini and Hitler will be able to stand up to our common turn faction. Oh yeah, they have no idea what sort of strategical plans are up our sleeve. I really don't know why I took this. I just wanted something in Europe. Hey, but I installed some interesting portraits for uh, our two puppets. That's good, I guess. And Texas, a puppet under Papa, is now attacking Louisiana. You know what? I hope you guys freaking lose. Why couldn't you just join California? I've been thinking about attacking Guatemala, but I'm just too afraid. I can't do it. This guy might have sold his soul to the devil. He has demonic powers. One cool thing is some of the factions from North America are starting to leak out to El Salvador, at least. And now I just have to sit here and hope that Papa keeps my shit safe, because uh, I don't have anything over there. There's zero regimens from California. Whoa, ho, oh, how? Holy crap, Texas, are, are you serious? Well, Louisiana did have the help of Florida, and everyone knows everyone from Florida's fucking nuts. Maybe they just went kamikaze on the Texans and just took the whole state over. Is it because you guys forgot about the Alamo? No, but in all seriousness, I know that they uh, got their ass kicked by the common turn. They probably didn't have any troops left, and uh, that's why Louisiana walked in. But this is also a communist faction, so uh, maybe they can join our side if we just invade them. Oh wow, Japan is just mauling China right now. Mao is gone. And I really don't think Hitler's gonna last. 
because uh, he's just in a really unfortunate position, especially when he messes up and either declares war on Poland. Oh, well, I think he is actually at war with Poland. Or I guess I'll change that and say when they declare war on the UK. If I were to keep going here, I think the obvious choice would be to invade Oregon and Idaho. It's just a two-state democratic faction ready for me to take them booty holes. So this has been on my to-do list for quite some time. I just kind of wanted to take over a lot of states as communist California, or otherwise known as California. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to Stefan M, Neo, Elfie C, Johan S, Spatial Winter W, Jane C, Wyan, Daddy D, and Furry Cruz for being my crack papas. If you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you for helping your crack boy.